Hi. In the latest update, Widget Blueprint received conditional functions, which allows us to add interesting functionalities to our UI. And in this video, I will demonstrate how this can be used. So let's begin. I have already a video covering how to create custom widget for a hot controller device. So then in that uh, widget UI, we can grab health and shield information and as well um, avatar icon. So I will link in description for that video and then I will use the same widget so then we can continue with what we already have. So if we will go into view binding, let's collapse all that, at least for now. So we have already all these bindings from previous again video, but now we have this nice button at condition really cool so if you will click on this it doesn't matter what you have selected so when with normal binding you need to select something or you can then change in here right so then it's for what you're binding but in here it actually doesn't matter because then you can select what you want okay so so we have condition we have we're passing something and then this is the same as in the verse it's a logic right or it's a boolean so it's a true or a false and unfortunately for now we can only use number and we can't even pass any number so for example we can't compare let's say we have health and we have maximum health so we can compare yeah like if let's say now health it's equal or less than maximum health and do something so we can compare uh, data right two variables uh, we can only get one and then we need manually input any value there. So it's not ideal, but it's already something, right? And then um, it's a simple conditional again. So it could be equal, not equal, and then larger, and or it's even have this range. This is really nice. So let's uh, do something. Let's say we've got eliminated and we want to show maybe text like you eliminated or you died, right? So let's add text. I will just drop it to canvas directly. So let's there. Yep. Let's call it text and that will be Elim. I don't know. Shout out. Like on elimination. Then let's anchor it to the center then alignment 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then 0 0 now it's in the center and then here in the center as well and we can say well eliminated something like that like it could be anything right and maybe not in the center screen maybe a little bit above and we can make it bigger okay. ignore this error because i have that conditional but i haven't filled any fields in there so that's why it shows me error so we have this text everything nice then what we can do we can animate it yes we can with conditionals we can now trigger animations not only with a button this is really cool so let's say this is elim anim so elimination animation select this one then add and then we need our text element shout out and in here what i will do i will maybe set visibility as well so by default let's say in here i will set it to collapsed so it will be hidden and not using anything on the screen okay and then in animation maybe on a, a zero so if let's say our animation will play, it may restore or keep state. So I don't want to care about that. So even if it will restore to zero, so then what I will set like on a zero, I will say it's collapsed still, right? And then key that. And then on the frame one, I can say, okay, now show. Okay, so it will start on a zero as a still collapsed. And then in the second one, not second, it's a frame. And as you can see here in the widget, we have 20 frames per second. 
and yeah how fast it should be maybe one second so let's say on a frame 20 right so in here what i want to do is basically while i'm making it visible i want to make it really tiny and then scale up something beautiful so i'm always trying instead of setting to zero engines sometimes don't like that so it's better to set like really tiny number in transform okay and now back in here let's click on this and transform so we're still on the frame zero then here we have our scale so we can key that and then on the frame 20 we can set it to one and you can see that what will happen right so when play eliminated we'll get this text and maybe then hold on just quickly maybe after 10 frames so it's half of the second yeah let's keep it like that and then really quickly go again to 0 0.001 okay, like that and then visibility so i will still uh, key it as such and then maybe on a 41 yeah i will set it to collapse to really collapse so like that I'm not sure about this half because if player will get eliminated, it's like how long player will see screen. Um, if respawn will be much faster, so this um, we'll see like how this will trigger. But it should basically be like that. So like in one second, it will nicely goes that. So it's one second, so it's still not too long. And then in another second, it will disappear. So it's only two seconds, so it should work. So that's it. We have this animation. So now let's go into binding. So in here, we can check our um, health, right? So now we have our health. And we can select that. Now we set, okay, when it's equal to zero. And I will show a few different ways to do this. So then we can select our widget. And in the widget, you see, if you don't see your animation, so this is name you give here right so if you don't see it in here then compile and save and then it will appear here so i need to select a lim anim or actually sorry wrong i need to set play animation yeah so not this one play animation sorry so then um there are a few animations it's basically if you use animations with a button it's a pretty much same just only in, con uh, in this one condition we can do this as well so let's play animation yeah, sorry for that. So let's play animation. Now, what animation we can choose, right? So now in here, we need our anim, anim, like that. And then we're starting from the zero, right? And it goes forward. That's it. So now if we compile that, you see no errors. And that would work. Another way to do it is actually, let's preview this. And then I will show another way. So save. And I have already this boot control device. Nothing is changed, but that I have uh, added my this custom widget UI into uh, this slot. And then I have a Gward, which will just shoot me. And let maybe set accuracy to very high so they can kill me pretty quick. And that's it. So let's launch. Okay, so we have our guards, and we have our nice animation. So as you can see, that's playing totally fine. Now let's preview different versions. So keep in mind that if you never coded let's, in any language, not just only verse, you may not know that sometimes uh, setting something to just perfectly equal equal right like. It's not ideal because let's say if I will set it to 50, come on, change it to 50, right? So now I'm checking when it's 50, then do something, right? But keep in mind that let's say you've got hit 
few extra points and then instead of 50 maybe your health now on a 49 it's enough just like this small number right like it's 49 it's not perfectly equal 50 so it means this conditional will never trigger so it will never be true because it's not equally 50. if you want 50 and below then you need to choose less than or equal right so it means equal 50 that's fine and when it's below 50 it will still trigger but again keep in mind because every time your value will change it will trigger this uh, check so for example if you want to do something once i still don't know if it's possible because there is no kind of like a condition that do once right like if, for example in the code we can do so here it will always check and trigger so for example if you will check less than uh, or equal so every number for example you will have like a 49 now on next hit you will be like 40 then 30 so every time it will trigger again and again so keep that in mind so um test for yourself okay with value it's one thing now let's have a look into our boolean conditionals so for example we have is eliminated let's look into this and then as well equal and what i will do i will set just only one why is that because our logic this boolean is true or false but same time on the level of the integer it's a zero and one so it means if we're comparing is eliminated equal let's say to one it means it will be true so we don't need to say here true word it's just one enough if i would set zero it means it's false so what i'm checking here i don't even need compare value i'm just checking if play eliminated true trigger that animation so let's again preview now that in our game And as you can see, without even checking numbers, with just checking this boolean logic inside of the hood controller, it still will work. And because we have a few of that, so you see you have uh, this, for example, uh, down but not out, reviving. Um, so in interesting logic in here, so you can use to trigger your animations. Same, for example, you can trigger maybe based on uh, how much health you've got left. So maybe you want to trigger something else. Um, so yeah, I think like this is really powerful to have now these conditionals. And uh, hopefully they will build more stuff on top of that and add more instead of just checking with value, maybe comparing two variables. That would be super awesome. So hopefully um, this will be super useful for you. Same as for me now. I'm really happy about this. So have fun. I would like to say thank you to my old supporters. I appreciate your support. Thank you for your generosity. You can join our growing Discord community where we like to discuss UFN tips and tricks, showcase our work and help each other. You can find link in the description or in the channel header. You can get project files on my Patreon or just buy me a coffee to support me. If you're interested in learning more about UFN materials, coding, widget UI and more, feel free to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notifications when new videos will be released. See you soon.